the the thing about invention is like in the movies some guy is working on something and then something weird happens and he goes eureka and then has this brilliant idea and becomes a mad scientist or whatever and it's it's a very like instantaneous thing but in real life i think it's not really the case it evolves three times you repurpose it you screw it up and then something happens accidentally and then it becomes you're like hey this might actually do something it's a very long process to actually get to a working functional idea <laughs> I'm Matt Tolls, this is my brother, Joseph Tolls, and we run Slightly Robot, which is a startup building wearable sensors to track and treat trichotillomania, exoriation disorder, and other body-focused repetitive behaviors. People with this condition um, derive a pleasurable or calming sensation from pulling out their own hair on their head, their eyebrows, their eyelashes, uh, body hair, facial hair, whatever. And this causes not only baldness, sometimes permanent, um, and, but also a lot of emotional distress, depression, anxiety, a fear of going to work and going to school because people will notice, uh, people go to pretty extreme lengths to hide it, and there's pretty much no treatment. Therapy is slow and expensive, there's a couple of medications which kind of sort of sometimes work in some people, and it's, it's basically under-recognized, under-treated, and largely people feel very alone. That affects somewhere between 0.6 and 2.5% of the population, which is way, way, way more than I think even the number of people who know what it is. We sort of just decided that we would try and do something about it, and we didn't have any funding at the time. We had pretty much none of the right skills, like some tangentially related stuff. Like, what, did, what are you doing? Oh, I was now? programming servers at the time. And now what are you doing? Um, now I'm uh, programming hardware. So for the record, those are very and different apps. if you're not in the software world, but they are, trust us. Um, and I was like building helicopters um, and suddenly I'm the CEO of some business. It's sort of anachronistic now. We've, we've started it, we've built the whole app, we've built the hardware, but we've done all of it out of our apartment, which is why we're here shooting in my bedroom, I guess. Um, we don't have a factory working out for us. There's no like Chinese slave labor, well, unless you count me. So when you when you raise your what, raise your hand to pull your hair or bite your nails or pick at your face or whatever, depending on the condition, it's calibrated to each person. Uh, the accelerometer detects that hey, uh, gravity is this way and it's been that way for a little while, as opposed to when your arm's here and gravity's that way, like re different relative to the bracelet. Um, and then it'll vibrate, and it's right now it tells me it's vibrating. Put my hand down. 